Uh, first, you know, congrats uh, uh, to Cal. I mean, I, I think everybody realized that was a pretty special game uh, 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 for, for an NC2A game. Um, you know, second, you know, for me, uh, I'd rather have no other team. You know, I, I don't think, uh, uh, you know, we maybe per se have uh, the individual uh, 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 stars, but I can tell you this, we, we have a team. And I think a lot of teams break at 7-4 in the fourth quarter. Um, what we were able to do uh, is get, not only get ourselves back in the game, uh, uh, put ourselves in a position <clears throat> in the fourth uh, to close the game out, uh, uh, and then put ourselves in a position ultimately uh, to get into overtime uh, uh, and win a game. Um, you know, but that's a, that's that's just the character of this team. You know, I, I, it, it's a hard one because uh, uh, you know this this journey for us started over five years ago. I don't think so many people understand just what this group has done. Uh, it, it it'll go down um, as one of the all-time greatest teams for sure. Period. I mean, they won the first medal for the U.S. and since 1993 at the World University Games, and we're just a UCLA team. We're we're, we're not a we're not a national team. Okay, uh, uh, you know these guys here over a two-year period lost three games. You know uh, 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 they won. I don't remember even what it was, 57 or whatever it was in a row. Um, things don't happen like that unless you you, you got a really special uh, group. And, and and for me, it's a it's a tough one uh, to swallow. It's not the ending um, that we that we we wanted per se. Um, but but I do think what you saw tonight was a group that that didn't give in. And, and put themselves in a position uh, 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 to be successful. Questions? Um, fourth quarter, you guys were down three goals. You guys came back and went up 8-7. Um, looking at that comeback now, you guys did the same thing against Cal two weeks ago, but what went wrong from there on? Well, you know, uh, it, it always comes down to the uh, uh, you know the small details, and uh, in a back and forth game like that, you know it, it's going to come down to one block, or um, um, and you got to give them credit. They they made a lot of shot blocks tonight, um, and, and we missed some small assignments, um, but all, you know also we had some guys out there that really from the first quarter on were playing the whole game, you know, uh, and uh, we had some foul trouble, so we were running out of a little bit of gas, um, but you know. I told the guys, this is sport, you know. We, we put ourselves in a position to have a, a lot of opportunities tonight. We, we, we didn't put, as, put uh, as many down as they did. That's, that's just a fact. Uh, uh, but we created a lot of opportunities. So um, the thing is, the last thing I'll say with that is, is there's no regret. You know, sometimes you, you can walk away with regret. I wish this or I wish that. Uh, uh, there's none. These guys have nothing uh, uh, to regret. They left everything out there, and, and, and that's the most important thing at the end of the day. Brian, do you agree with that? Are you going to beat yourself up overnight thinking there's one thing you could have done here or there that would change the game? I mean, I think that's <clears throat> pretty normal right after a game. Um, hopefully, with time. I can put it in perspective um, what Adam was saying earlier what this team has accomplished. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, hopefully it doesn't take too long to realize what this group has accomplished because it's truly great. Um, but yeah, I think it will be pretty normal to think about those little things now in the near future. Thanks. Um, Cal had three of its big players between South Charles and Carnelia all go out in the second half. Um, what kind of impact do you think that had on the game? Uh, you know, <laughs> we had Fellner, Chancellor, uh, Warren, Irving, all with two fouls <laughs> in, the, in the half too. So you know it's a it's a chess match. You know, uh, uh, 
the, the reality is, is they're they're all good players, um, but then they got the next guys behind them. So I, I don't think, you know, in, in my opinion, it, it didn't it didn't come down uh, to that. It, it really came down uh, to to a to some missed chances, but then also some missed details. And and you know uh, that's that's life. You know that's sport. And um, you know we've been on the other end plenty. And tonight we're on the tough end. Else? You guys have one last game tomorrow. Uh, is there anything? To you do? Game? I thought no, no games. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, we got training tomorrow. You know, it's one more chance to get better before they put us into eight hours. You know, so <laughs> no. Uh, this is it. Fortunately, you know, this is the end of our story as a as a team. So, uh, but you know, I, I will say this. Uh, uh, what this team has done. We always talk about leaving a legacy. Uh, uh, they've changed UCLA water polo. They've changed the culture. It'll, it, it'll forever uh, be imprinted on UCLA water polo even long after uh, I'm out of here. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a new thing uh, going on at UCLA, and uh, uh, I, I, I will forever be uh, uh, thankful uh, uh, for this group um, because they've changed it. It's different.